Hey, I've got another running metaphor for you, because they just keep coming. <laughs> Uh, but one thing that I've been doing while training is uh, something called uh, tempo training. And uh, what that is, uh, is running at a pace that's a little beyond your comfort zone for extended periods of time. Now, one reason for that, and I might get some of the particulars wrong, is that uh, your body, well, your muscles, store fuel and as you run, your muscles burn that fuel. Uh, a byproduct of burning that fuel is called lactate. And as that lactate builds up in your muscles, that gives you that feeling of uh, soreness and stiffness. Fortunately, your body has the ability to clear out that lactate. And if you're running at a low enough pace, your body can clear it out at the same rate that it's being produced. However, the faster you run, the more fuel you burn. And the more fuel you burn, the faster uh, you build up that lactate. And there, you're, there comes a point where you are building it up faster than your body can clear it out. And that's called your lactate threshold. Uh, so naturally, if you're running faster than uh, you're used to, then you're more likely to exceed that threshold, which is what can cause you to hit the wall, as some runners say. Now, uh, a couple of possible solutions to that, well, one of which is uh, to run below that threshold. And there is some wisdom in that at times, uh, especially if you're already on race day. You may not want to exceed that threshold. You want to stick with uh, what, what you are currently able to do. Um, However, especially if you're uh, training, there are times when you want to try and exceed your current threshold. You want to exceed your current capabilities. And uh, one of the primary ways to do that is to go outside your comfort zone. You run faster and longer than you're currently used to. You let yourself get it, uh, beyond your lactate threshold so that your body can uh, start practicing clearing it out more quickly. You're basically training your body uh, how to survive in that uh, area that's outside your comfort zone. So, in other areas of your life, if you want to exceed your current capabilities, you need to step beyond them uh, in order to practice being outside of where you're comfortable. That might mean working harder. It might mean putting yourself in social situations uh, where you're not as comfortable. It could be a number of things. But the bottom line is, if you want to increase your threshold, you need to step outside of it first and then allow your capabilities to catch up. It will be uncomfortable, maybe even painful for a while, but that's where you'll get the most growth. So, Keep pushing. <laughs>